cannot move until they are pushed or pulled. The donkey has to pull it before it moves. The thing that causes cut to move is called force. We get force when energy is released. Force is a push or a pull. All these things are able to move because of the force applied to them. The balloons and kites are able to suspend in the sky because of the wind pushing against them. Objects can only move when they are pushed or pulled. Let's talk about the effects of force on objects. Force causes the object to move or stop at a place. The object and your feet interact with each other they exert a force on each other. The forces are equal in size but opposite in direction. Force can change the shape of an object, reduce or increase the speed of a moving object, or change its direction. Yes, you are right. That is the effect of a force on objects. Some of the effects of a force acting on an object causes the object to change its shape or size to start or stop moving. For example, a balloon filled with air and pressed will change the shape. An example of a force moving or stopping an object is when a ball is kicked. It moves but when a goalkeeper catches it, it stops moving. An example of a force that changes the direction of an object is when a running water on the floor is stopped by sweeping it. It changes direction. What kind of force are the children using to pull or push that? They are using frictional force. Frictional force is the force between two surfaces as they slide over each other. The surface of the trolley touching the ground is the frictional force. The contact of the child's shoe to the ground is the shear force. When a ball is thrown up, the speed at which it falls down is due to gravitational force. Miss B, please, how will you then describe a force? That is a good question. Smarty, can you answer him? Yes, Miss B. A force is a push or pull upon an object resulting from the object's interaction with another object. Great! Smarty, you are intelligent. Whenever there is an interaction between two objects, there is a force upon each of the objects. Just like you pushing the car, the small push will give you small movement and a big push will give you a bigger movement. Let's do some demonstration by using stones and water in a bucket, pen and a piece of light paper, and a magnet and nails. Smarty, rub the pen in your hair for a while. Afterwards, use it to pick the paper on the table. Smart! Throw the stones into the bucket full of water. And I will use the magnet to attract the nails on the table. Now, what did you notice, Smarty? The pen actually picked up a piece of paper. Good! What about you, Smart? The water shakes each time the stone falls in. 
the picking of the piece of paper by the pen, the attraction of the nails by the magnet, the water shaking because of the stones falling in it, and the pushing of the toy car are all effects of force. Wow, Miss B, we thank you. Now we understand forces are all over us. I am hungry. Let us go home and eat something. I need something to open up my drink. Hi, Smarty. I will help you search around for a machine to open your drink. Here you go, Smarty. This is used to open bottles. A bottle opener is a machine. A simple machine makes work easier by magnifying or changing the direction of a force. It reduces the energy needed for work. Machines include the inclined plane, which helps us lower loads gradually. A wheel and axle used to lift a load. Screwdrivers are used to tighten or loosen a screw. Lever is used to load. Wedge is used to split an object and a pulley which is used to lift a load. What are the objects in the drawers used for? A pair of scissors is used to separate or cut an item. Forceps are used to grasp and hold objects such as cotton to clean wounds. Claw hammers are used to drive nails into or remove nails from objects. Miss B, please, is the tool the man using a simple machine? Yes, it is a simple machine called a hoe. It is used to weed. Do you know a broom is also a simple machine that is used to sweep? It has a turning pivot point that one holds and turns as one sweeps and it is part of the liver family. A knife is used to split or cut things such as bread and tomatoes. A tin cutter is used to open cartons such as milk and tin tomatoes. And the hammer is used to hit nails into wood. A knife should not be used to tighten the screws to hold the car's wheel. Each machine needs to be used for the correct purpose. When you use the knife to tighten the screw, the tip of the knife will break and it will not function properly when used for the right purpose. Poor maintenance of tools or simple machines makes them dirty or dusty. Also, when water particles are left on them, they rust. This makes machines stop working properly. For example, when a hammer is left to rust, it does not work properly. A simple machine can be kept in a good condition for it to work easier, safer, and to last long if proper maintenance such as greasing or oiling, removing dirt or dust, using them for the right job, and keeping them in a dry place. Tools are kept in two aprons, in a toolbox, and in a tool shed to prevent accident and damage. Today, we learned that force is a push or a pull, which can make an object or body move. Stop moving, change the direction of a moving body, and change the speed of a moving body. Simple machines or tools should be maintained properly by inspecting for any damage on the machine. 
oiling the moving parts and storing them properly.